G'day everyone, how's it all going? So recently, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you would have known that I actually put out a bit of a vote to see what you wanted me to review next. And we had the Latvian field ration come in just at number one. It only beat a Canadian ration by two votes. So it was very, very close. I've never had the chance to check out one of these Latvian rations before, so I'm really looking forward to doing it. What we are gonna check out today is the menu number three. And we also have an expiry date on the bottom here of the 30th of November, 2018. This ration contains 10,690 kilojoules or 2,557 kilocalories. Looking at the packaging, it's really cool. On the front, you can actually have the full menu list or contents list on here. And it's in two languages, Latvian and English. So people like myself, be able to easily read it and check out what's inside. Looking at the bag though, it is very, very thin and flimsy and feels a lot like the sort of bag that you'd use as a liner at home in your bin. And it's so thin that you can even see some of the contents through it like that. But let's open it up and have a look at it all properly. So you might have just heard that loud click and that was actually my microphone crapping out on me. So what I'm going to be doing for this review is actually doing a voiceover with you. So you get to have the pleasure or displeasure of listening to me. Get all sorts of comments like, hey, love your voice, love your accent. And other people going, listening to you is like running fingers down a blackboard. So <laughs> thanks very much. Anyway, let's check this thing out and see what we've got in here. The first item that we've actually got is meat stew with pearl barley. Just in a 250 gram tin there. We've got a little 20 gram packet of honey there. 20 gram pack of, I think it's uh, blueberry jam. Unfortunately, it has got a little pinhole there where we lost some. A lot of sticky uh, items inside, so I didn't actually try that one. 50 gram pack there of cashews and almonds. Pretty popular in rations having some nuts in there. Got the rye bread. Never tried that gear before, so I was quite looking forward to trying it out. I know it's pretty popular with some people. Got a packet here of some lollies, some bonbons. A pack here of rice porridge with blueberries. I actually thought at the start here that was like a cereal or item for breakfast. Not realizing it was actually dessert. Two 20 gram packs of sugar. A green tea, citrus flavored. And it actually has some mint flavoring in there too. Four packets of Nescafe Classic. Four packets, I thought it might have been a bit overkill, but if you're like me, you probably do two coffees at a time, so it would go down quite well. Refreshing towelette. I think that's the same style that's actually in the Lithuanian rations. Some power gum, spearmint flavoured. Spoon. That one is pretty much the same as the Lithuanian spoon. We've got a little chemical fuel tab um, oven there to chuck your can on to heat it all up some chemical tabs to use with it matches just to start it all up rubber band <laughs> quite small actually I don't know how long well that would last so let's get into these drinks first I'm actually going to make up this green tea a couple of items here with the commercial packaging I'm not sure what the uh, deal is with a lot of different military groups some of them are right against any sort of commercial packaging with their stuff but you do get a lot of these European countries which are more than happy to have commercial packaged items in there whether it being the tea or these two coffees here gonna go two coffees all these are into hot water as well these drinks and I actually think with the sugar I put in the whole 20 gram pouch Although I was quite glad that I did because at the end of it when I tried it all no creamer in there It was very very nice Definitely needs that extra sugar in there just to uh, sweeten it up and make it a bit more easier to drink Because that Nescafe Classic it is very popular it sells a lot all around the world But not the most flavorful coffee that you have and let's check out these mains. First, we're going to do this rice porridge with blueberries. 
very easy to open the package. <laughs> Looking inside, you can't tell there's any sort of blueberry stuff in there. It's just look like normal freeze-dried rice, but smaller sort of bits of it. Had a great smell of blueberry though when I had a sniff of it. Chucking it in here. And I do add hot water with this one. Because I thought that it was like a cereal or a muesli, I was really worried when I put in the suggested amount of water because I saw how wet it is here and had a bit of a freak out because I like my muesli a bit more drier. But as you can see, over the time, as I'm stirring it, it just gets thicker and thicker as I'm doing it. I still was a little bit worried though about how much it would actually soak up. Great little purple colour there too with the blueberries. And the smell coming up from it was really nice too. Because I used the hot water, it just came right up at me. Next, going to open up this rye bread. Once again, I've never tried rye bread before that. And wasn't sure what to expect. Very dark on the outside, looked like it was burnt, but I, from looking around uh, later on after I actually did this review, because I did do this review quite a long time ago, um, it looks like that's how it's actually supposed to look. And kind of looks quite similar to pumpernickel. So if there's anyone out there watching this who knows the difference between rye and pumpernickel, if you could please let me know in the comments, that'd be really cool, because I am not sure... As you can see, even with a nice sharp knife, trying to cut through it, it was bloody difficult. Very, very th firm, um, quite solid inside there. And you can see it's quite dense just by looking at it. Really, really dense there. But uh, still looking forward to giving it a crack. <laughs> yep, I made an absolute mess. Check out my hands and that tray. There's just stuff everywhere. Opening up those cashews and almonds. Plenty of them, which was great. Open the bonbons. Take out a couple there. Yeah. Once again, just like normal commercial packaging. Plenty more that were in the bag too, so I'll save those for mini drop there. Got the honey. As you can see here, very, very crystallized. But that's completely fine. Honey is one of those amazing things that just does not go off. If you do get it crystallized like that and you're not sure before you open it, actually if you chuck it over a little bit of heat, just to warm it up slightly, it will actually make it go all runny again for you. And finally, we get this mint or the spearmint flavored chewing gum out. It was a little bit sort of thicker than the normal sort of stick gum that you get. Little bit of Kiwi Dude magic there cleaning it up him bring out the main the main absolutely great just look at that how much meat is in there sometimes you get it where there's just a few little pieces of meat but with this one it was mainly meat in there it was beef and really nicely shredded up and cooked there probably nice sort of slow cooker there just to really braise it and get as much flavor into it as possible and check this out how good does that look Plenty of pearl barley there, lots of meat, a bit of orange in there, so it's probably some carrot or some other veggies that might have gone into it. And trying this dish, it was absolutely amazing. I'm not a huge fan of kasha, and I'm probably going to upset a few people by them hearing that. But So I was quite worried when I saw this one, thinking, oh, I don't know what I'll think. But trying it, I'm really glad that I did, because it wasn't overly salty like the kasha is. It was a lot better cooked, and even the sauce, it wasn't over oily, which was good too. So it wasn't too filling and leaving you feeling a bit heavy at the end of it. A great flavor. I polished a whole lot off after this and still felt really, really good. Trying that pumpernickel, you see it's a bit of a burn edge on there. Quite shiny on the outside from that um, vacuum seal. Very strong flavor. Quite firm and dense, but uh, it had a bit of a burnt flavor to it from the outside. And yeah, unlike any sort of bread that I've actually tried before, I'm used to the normal wheat, white, um, that sort of thing. So trying these sorts of uh, different dishes and 
rations from other countries is always great to do. It went quite well with the meat on there too. So a bit of moisture from the beef stew on there, extra flavour, a bit extra stronger flavour actually with the bread, went quite good. Obviously as I got a second batch of it. <laughs> yeah, pile it on there, get into it, why not? And let's try some of this honey out. Having to crystallise actually makes it stay on the bread a bit easier. So I don't really mind it. It's a little bit extra crunchy when you have it, but it's not too bad. It doesn't change the flavour at all. Went really well on that rye bread. I was quite surprised how the richness and burnt sort of slight burnt flavour on the bread with the sweetness of that honey really mixed well. Trying it on its own, European honey is really good too. I know I've said that quite a few times today, but this Russian was absolutely fantastic. The honey is just so different to what we get here in Australia. With the tea, very nice flavour as well. Nice lemony sort of flavour, but with a hint of mint in there as well. So wasn't quite what I was expecting. It was a bit of a pleasant surprise when I tried that and very very refreshing probably a great um drink to have after your meal just to cleanse the old palate and what i was mentioning there was just that some people do put honey into their tea too got our cashews and our almonds have a look at them there wasn't really that uh, happy with those they were okay but they're actually raw so unroasted and there was no salt on them either so very very plain and boring Getting into this rice porridge with blueberries. As you can see there, it really firmed up quite a lot. Little specks of dark there with that blueberry. And this thing was spectacular. I can't talk this one up enough. If you ever get the chance to try one of these, hopefully you get this stuff in it and you get to try it. Because it was so good. Great sweetness. And it was actually not an artificial sort of flavor with that sweetness. It tasted very natural with the blueberries. Great taste, great texture. Maybe if you wanted to have a little bit of a sauce, maybe chuck some extra hot water in there near the end, just to make it a bit looser. Trying that coffee, normal coffee. If anyone's ever tried the Nescafe Classic or Blend 43 before, you'll know what it tastes like, exactly the same. I am glad that I actually put the extra sugar into it because it did need it and made it a lot easier to drink. So let's try out these Barbary lollies. Normal commercial package once again, just like you get in your shops there in those bags of lollies. Nicely wrapped. Great colour. Barbary, I do not know what that actually is. When I tried it, it just tasted like a normal sweet sort of lolly. But if anyone knows actually where Barbary comes from, and sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, yeah, once again, let me know in the comments. One of the best parts about doing these things is you just get to learn about different cultures, different countries, um, foods and things which they have. And I really enjoy that side of things. So finally, for the last part, giving this gum a go. It was pretty firm actually. And I don't know whether that's actually because of some of the additives that they've got in there. Maybe something to give a little bit extra help for any dental hygiene. But the flavour of it was absolutely spectacular. Really great spearmint flavour. So that's the end of the review, everyone. Once again, this thing was absolutely fantastic. If you get a chance to try it, I hope you get this one. Because that main with the meat stew of pearl barley and that dessert with the rice porridge and blueberries was absolutely first class and spectacular. Really, really enjoyed it. And the absolute heroes of this main. So it may look pretty simple or people might not think that Latvian rations would be any good. But I tell you what, it was bloody good. Hopefully you enjoyed this thing with the voiceover. I'm sorry once again that the sound system uh, messed up when I was recording it, but I just didn't want to let a ration like this go to waste. I only had one to review and that was this one. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. I really enjoy doing these ration reviews, so please 
leave a comment, let me know what you think of it, and hopefully I have more coming to you soon as well. I have unfortunately had another couple which have messed up with the sound, so I'll be doing voiceovers with that too. Thanks heaps for watching everyone. See ya.